I think it looks quite nice. Whoa, <laughs> that was way too close. Hey, what's up? Or uh, good day and welcome, or maybe, hey guys, how you doing? <laughs> I don't know which one do you like the best, but today we are flying the five inch custom built quad with a GoPro Hero 11 mini on top of it. We'll just have some freestyle fun around this garden around this beautiful area so let's just do it oh and by the way i'm using the free will and the 32 right now on this uh, gloomy day which is actually quite perfect because we don't have any harsh shadows everything is pretty much exposed in the same manner as well as i'm using the free will magnetic filter thing on this a7c and uh, which is also an amazing filter thing if you want your own, go check the link in the description. But now, let's just fly. All right. I think it's time to do this. Smooth and slow fly. Just doing some, uh, you know, warming up and stuff. Stabilized in the GoPro player, which is basically real steady go, just built in into the player uh, i wish these branches would have some leaves on them then i would feel more uh you know daring but now if i want to do the gap i have to be real slow to check it <laughs> Woo! all right it's starting to bit to rain a bit perfect timing for rain at least my drone is uh you know protected from wet stuff how does it look by the way this five by eight stabilized real steady go stuff i think it looks quite nice Whoa, <laughs> that was way too close, way too close, way too close. As we can see, we have a bunch of beautiful flowers here on the ground. Yeah, the spring is here, finally. Loving it. Uh, uh, I forgot, uh, hopefully I won't need it, but I, I forgot the wrench. So if I need to tighten up my props, that might be a problem. Oh, no, 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 no. But, uh, okay, I think this is enough for the first battery. And uh, let's go for uh, the success batteries and let's change the uh, stabilization method to the GoPro's built-in one. Let's see the... <laughs> and let's see the difference. <laughs> now we shall use the 5.3K resolution, which is the regular one. Let's go for linear, because I, I have a feeling that linear might have a better stabilization but we'll use hyper smooth just on not the boosted one because that will be like very heavy we'll just use the regular hyper smooth all right now we have a 6s battery which is way more powerful the angle of the camera is also a bit steeper And we're using the built-in. The built-in stabilization of the GoPro. Okay, can we do some smooth... It's, this angle is quite... <laughs> I don't think I'm... I don't think I have warmed up enough for... This. Maybe I am. Whoa. 
don't want to go over water because I, I kind of did that FCC hack for my goggles V2, but I, I don't think it worked out well because I cannot increase it to 1200 milliwatts. Jesus Christ, man. This drone. I mean, this power of those motors. It's just insane, man. So how does it look? What do you see? Do you see any noticeable differences between these flights? I know the first one was kind of smoother. Uh, but, uh, I mean, the stabilization wise, is there a difference? Comment down below. What do you like the most? Real steady go type stuff or straight out of camera? Or you're one of those no stabilization flyers. I know people like to do that. Ooh, I should have done a, that. I should have done a split S there. Maybe I should do it now. Uh, I guess I should do it from... Oh, maybe. <laughs> that was way too high for that. Crash. <laughs> yep. I crashed. All right, let's go find the drone. All right. We have recovered the drone, but wait. <laughs> oh, here's the battery. Oh no, <laughs> oh, man, I have destroyed another battery, oh, man, that sucks, well, <sighs> I've done it again, I destroyed another battery, well, that was an unlucky crash, but well, shh happens and uh, you know it is what it is now let's change the settings the the third flight shall be in linear mode but the hyper smooth boost on so yeah so we can see all the differences between the most stablest uh stabilization types of stabilization Another 6S battery, this time, as I said, 5.3K linear mode, but this time the stabilization is boosted. So hyper smooth boost is on. What do you... Th oh, jeez. And that's my neighbor's garden. <laughs> Hopefully you were able to enjoy this. Uh, not... <laughs> not complete episode of what I was trying to achieve maybe you saw the difference between the boosted at least at that one small moment but uh, yeah hopefully you were able to enjoy this flight if you did you know what to do you gotta hit that like button and stuff also comment down below what do you think about which type of stabilization method do you use or do you don't use it at all like what's your flying style yeah let me know and uh thank you for watching and see you in the next video